All right, guys. I'm going to show you how to do a custom splash screen on your Kenwood DNX 572BH. And I couldn't really find any instructions for this model. And it, the button press is a little bit different. But essentially, it's just like all the other Kenwood navigation units. Um, you can watch other videos on YouTube how to make the file. But basically, it's an 800 by 480 bitmap file. You have to make it in a program like Adobe Photoshop. You cannot do it in Windows Paint. It needs to be 800 by 480 pixels. It needs to be saved as a 16-bit RGB bitmap. And this is really important, otherwise it won't work. Okay, and then you save it on a flash drive, which will be plugged into the USB port. So start with your screen, just like this here. Just load it up, normal. And then I took my file, put it on a thumb drive, and plugged it into the USB port. Okay, and what you're going to do is, there's a button press. It's the home button, the telephone button, and the little triangle, which is the reset button. That you have to press all at the same time. So you'll hold down the home and telephone button, and then hit the reset button. And you have to be quick, because if you hold down the home button too long, it'll turn the unit off. I'll show you how to do that. Alright, now look something like this. Like I said, you got to do this quick. It's the home and telephone. Hold them down. And hit the reset button. Now continue holding the home and telephone button down until it lights up green. And as you can see, I've already changed my splash screen, but I'm just showing you guys how to do it here. As soon as the buttons light up, you can let off the home. So you're not going to let off. Okay. And it'll come up with this. Opening image change. And if you want to put it back to the Kenwood image, which you know you can do at any time, or you want to select OEM image. And then it'll read your flash drive. And even though they don't show up here, these are the two files that I have on here. So if you select it, it'll show you... That is the one I want. Let's see. Or the other one. You can do it by file name. So it's this one. It's the only one that's on there. Ford logo. So select the one you want. Hit enter. And it'll say reading, writing. Okay. I want to get back to this screen. All you have to do is hit the red reset button. And then it should load up with your custom image. Alright guys, I hope this helps you out. 